What up, 419? It's your boy, Hitty Kid, and I'm doing an exclusive interview with the 419 Grind. I love the grind. That's why I shine. I stay on the grind for a great road. This is why I shine, and it's gon' show. I love the grind. That's why. You're listening to the 419 Grind Podcast. Toledo's source for exclusive news in music, business, sports, and entertainment. Yo, 419 Grind Podcast interview with uh, Hilly the Kid. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Hilly the Kid. What up? So, I'm going to ask a few questions today. Don't be scared. Feel comfortable. This is just uh, so the people can get to know you. Got you. So, what part of Toledo are you from? What school did you go to? I'm from the south side of Toledo, and I went to Pickett Academy. You went or you go there now? I go there now. Okay. (laughs) And, uh, like, how did you start doing music? Well, we was listening to beats in the living room, and then my dad, uh, he was just rapping and stuff, and I was like, I want to start rapping, not knowing that he was going to take me serious. So then the next day, he took me to the studio, and we recorded a song. What song did you record? I'm Only Seven. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so you were only seven when you started? No, I was six and a half. Oh, okay. How old are you now? I'm 12. 12, okay. And uh, what what, uh, what do you think about when you write music? Um, I just be in my zone. I just don't know. I just be blocking everybody out and just listening to Scooby. And uh, like, how do you come up with uh, like a, a theme for a song? See, it just be coming up to me like drip school. Like yeah. drip. You just drip. <laughs> I got that. Right, right. So you just use like trends that's out now and kind of use that to inspire you to write music yes all right so uh like what's important like when it comes to like making a song like what's important the song the beat like everything important you gotta you gotta think about everything you gotta put everything to your mind because if you got a wrong beat but a good song it's not gonna flow right so right. you gotta have everything how you need it right so uh like who are some of the influences that you like do you listen to other artists Yes. Come up with something like who? I come. I listen to the baby a lot, but I don't get nothing from him because he got him. Wow. <laughs> so you don't you don't talk like that in your music? No. Nah. Okay. Who else do you listen to? I listen to Rod Wave and Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich, yeah. And uh, like as a fan, like who are some of your favorite? Artists? Those three that I just said: Roddy Rich, Rod Wave, and the baby. The baby. All right, and uh, as a kid, like going to school, being a a, a, a a local celebrity, as a as an artist, like what are some of the challenges? Or like what do you face? Like when you go to school, or like when you're on stage, like do you have any issues or? No, but I do take a lot of pictures. It's not like getting like attacked or anything, but I do take a lot of pictures and stuff like that. I got attacked a few times, but I don't yeah, get attacked so and stuff at school. I know your, your dad was telling me about one time a, a girl, <laughs> somebody follows you into the bathroom. It was more than just a girl. Oh, it was multiple <laughs> girls. Okay. So what, what did you do? Like, how did you react to that? Nothing. I just um went in there and I told him my Instagram and stuff and then I took pictures with him. Took pictures with him? Instead so of just running away from him. You didn't him. run away from him? You weren't scared? No? Okay. <laughs> well, it was like, it was like a surprise because like... I just walk out of the bathroom and see a whole group of girls screaming my name. That's just, it was weird. Right. So, uh, where have you performed here? I performed at Ohio Theater. I performed at Collinwood Arts Center. Charlotte's Hall. I performed at a lot of places. Birthday parties. Events. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's been a lot. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you were to, uh, Work with any artist anywhere, to locally, nationally. Like, who would you want to work with? I want to work with that girl Lele, and I want to work with Roddy Rich. Okay. And uh, now, if you, if somebody, another kid came up to you and said uh, they need some advice on how to start a music career, like what kind of advice would you give them? Like, just stay on your grind. Don't let nobody knock you off of it. Because if you let somebody knock you off of your grind, then you're going to be forgetting about what you really want to do and be in what everybody else wants you to be. But you need to be what you want to be. Right. Okay. 
And uh, so what's up next for Billy the Kid? Drip School 2. When is My that? My album is dropping on February 18th. Okay. Any events coming up? Yes. What's coming up? My album release party. What is that? Can't say. You can't say? Nope. Okay. It's a mysterious day. All right. And uh, how can uh, how can people find you? You can find me on and all digital platforms. You can find me on iTunes. You can find me on SoundCloud, Amazon, just anywhere. Spotify. What about your Instagram and Facebook? My Instagram, you can get me at Hilly underscore the underscore K I D D, and my Facebook is Hilly the Kid. Okay, that's Hilly the Kid, guys. Look him up. This has been the 419 Grind Podcast. <laughs> you can uh, watch it on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and uh, this video will also be available on YouTube. Thanks for watching this exclusive interview with the 419grind.com.